Hey folks, it's IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Biop, and he's in his T67. It's a tier uh, 5 game. I was about to say tier 6 for some odd reason. This is a tier 5 game on Fjords, and he is knocking down all his cover. <laughs> um, I assume he's just trying to hide amongst the trees, but um, knocking all this wood around is a great way to, want to, to his cover. Ooh, pretty. Two marks of excellence. Well, let's see if he uh, he performs up to that standard today. I have a feeling he might. Zooming in, scoping in on these poor meme tanks over here, just sitting it out in the open. Wow, that's a ton of spawn damage. <laughs> uh, this tank is great if you're just looking to dominate um, the battlefield. It's great. It, no matter what you enjoy, as long as you don't enjoy playing things with a ton of armor on them, this thing can pretty much fit the bill. It can be used as a scout tank, it can be used as a medium tank, it can be used as a tank destroyer. Obviously it's hard to play it as artillery, but um, this thing is pretty all around, and it's very, very powerful for its tier. So if you're grinding through it right now, take advantage, have some fun, you know, <laughs> farm some damage within this thing because it is quite easy to do. Um, good gun, good mobility, good, um, the, you know, it's got turret on it. The only thing it doesn't have is any armor, but I mean, as long as you don't get seen, it doesn't matter how much armor you have. And in this thing, you can make it so you don't get seen. Uh, assuming you're using some kind of cover and uh, you double bush, it's going to be next to impossible for folks at this tier to spot you and then do anything about it and so this tank is one of the um, one of the more high powered ones and it's definitely one of my favorites at this tier um, I am in fact in fixed camera okay so oh look he's found the enemy T6 who uh, wasn't hiding in a particularly good place and got spotted by the T28 but the T28 had to get to here uh, before we spotted the T67. Prior to that, that T67 was no, nowhere to be found. Um, however, unfortunately, as good as the T67 is, if your allies are garbage, your allies are still going to be garbage. Um, <laughs> we have two kills, which is more than anyone else on the team. Um, we're tied with the enemy for this game. Never mind, the enemy is now pulled ahead of us on kills. And we've lost about half our team for no good reason. That seems great. Um, also note the two of our team are artillery and are sitting in the back. And there's a scout tank over here. Because, why again? Obviously this section of our lines needs to be scouted. Huh. Uh, well, that's an SU 85B behind our Matilda. That's unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it. And Matilda's going to push into the M4. And assuming if the M4 has a drip gun on, then the Matilda's probably going to die. If he doesn't, he might win that fight, unfortunately. Either way, he's still got an SU 85B behind him. So, yeah. We're going to speed this up a little bit. Oh, never mind, we're not, because the Sav M483 just popped up around the corner. So notice how Biop backs up till he knows he's in cover. He's got two bushes, or at least he's only shooting at an outline. That means he cannot be seen through the bush. And so he backs up to that sp spot um, so that he has better chances. Unfortunately, we didn't bend back up for that one and thus get spotted. But he does take out Chaffee, and Chaffee is really important to take out. Uh, taking out the light tanks will effectively blind them, and then you can go in for the kills with a long and sharp six while they're blind. The um, P46 over there, P2640 over there, comes to the aid of the Matilda. Unfortunately, not quite in time to save the Matilda. He does save the thing that took the Matilda's life. 
Um, even if it's not literally. Unfortunately, he then goes down to the M4. Who probably literally did take the M until his life. So, with full health, we're going to go in here against an M4. I hope he's not loading in the drop gun, because if he is loaded the drop gun, this is going to be a bigger issue. Apparently, if he did, he didn't get a shell off in time, and if he didn't, that well, that's unfortunate to be him. Uh, we are going to speed this up, though, because it's going to be a little bit before we find any more enemies. They're last seen on the other side of the map, um, so we're going to have to get there. Of, you know, I just, I'd rather not... Well, we might as well just speed up, right? Okay, as we come in towards the other side of... We're going to slow it down a little bit and... Start looking for signs of the enemy. Now, that T-67, we hit him a couple times in the beginning. He's going to be wounded. The, the Panzer 4 h though, is kind of anybody's game. I think we took some pot shots at him. I don't remember us connecting anything on him. So we're going to have to see if he's in one piece or not. Um, poking up with the, or this fridge line is not a bad idea. Uh, it is going to get lonely up here, though. The SU-85... Our SU-85 didn't die. Oh, interesting. I thought he was dead. Um, I don't know how I missed him. But anyway, so SU-85 and... No. Because it was an SU-85B, right? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Well, there's the Panzer 4H. On one health and now dead. Oh, except our artillery has finally joined the fight. And sent a rocket into us. Thankfully for us, the second RT couldn't actually join the fight. And so we didn't need to worry about getting hit by him. However, we are on seven kills. Let's make that eight if we can kill this 14 TB. Come on, don't... Seriously? <laughs> Why? As the Sav takes it from us. There we go. That's the Radley Walters. Unfortunately, no pools available, but still great game. Needs to start to eat into his actual ammo. Uh, I think for next time, maybe carry less high explosive. Have more standard AP, and then you'll get yourself into that situation a little bit less. But yeah, that was a great game. Thank you so much for signing in. And we'll see you uh, over at the, uh, the replays. Or the post game. That's the one. Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire for Effect. He also got five bonds. A tier five, that's a lot. Radley Walters probably gave him the bonds, actually. High cover and Top Gun. Yeah, this was a great little fight. It didn't have, like, uh, the really exciting elements at the end, but this was a great sniper battle. And the fact they managed to pick off his counterpart. Look at that. 1,200 experience. Oh, okay, 1,100 experience. Still, that's impressive. And <laughs> only for 1,300 damage. Yeah. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in, by up. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you really enjoy this, and... We'll see you all next time this IOE throughout.